Hey everyone, Will here uh, with my flea market finds for April 1st, uh, 2012. Uh, weather hasn't been cooperating very much uh, uh, for me lately. Uh, been, we've had rain like the past three weeks in a row. But uh, got a few things to show you and a uh, uh, couple decent things. We'll take a look. First up, got a uh, wooden box, and it's cut out for two pistols, like uh, dueling pistols. Um, I don't. Thing is, I'm not exactly sure if this is a box from a gun factory, which would make it valuable if I could identify it, uh, like uh, who made it and what guns went in it. Or if it was just a homemade job. I'm thinking it's a homemade job. Somebody did, uh, somebody did pretty good on it. Um, would like to know what they had in there. But uh, nice latches. Whoever made it, made it up a long time ago. Uh, so, might have to look into it a little bit more. I uh, paid $8 for it. If it was a uh, well-known gunmaker box from the factory, like, say, Colt or something, uh, that would be, probably be my best find of the day. But uh, my suspicion is that it's um, homemade. Uh, but I might be wrong about that. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I'd do a little research. Looks a little rough inside there. Maybe it was coming apart and somebody nailed that back in. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. I uh, got a signed Johnny Unitas picture. Uh, Johnny Unitas stuff around here, around the Baltimore area. Uh, goes really well. Uh, you can see it's... Uh, um, signed to Bob and Ray, best wishes Johnny Unitas. Um, Bob and Ray, if it's the same Bob and Ray I'm thinking of, Bob and Ray had a uh, comedy show. Uh, they actually had their own TV show back in the 1950s. Um, I know one guy died and uh, other guy's still alive, but it just seems... I'm thinking that's them, so that might that might help it a little bit. Um, if there's any Bob and Ray fans still around, find a Bob and Ray fan and a, a United fan, and uh, that's a sure sale. Uh, picked up this nice little piece of, I'm pretty sure it's ivory. Uh, Scrimshaw that. Uh, been autographed and I mean signed down in the corner guy did a really good job bought this from a guy who said he got it from a he bought it at a craft fair uh, about 40 years ago he said and it really looks like a piece of uh, ivory tufts to me uh, you can see a bit of the uh, the number on the back here. One way you gotta be careful when buying ivory stuff. Um, one way to there's a lot of fakes out there. Uh, one way to tell if it's fake is uh, get a, a needle, very hot, and uh, stick it. Um, if it's plastic, it'll burn. If it's not plastic, uh, it's a good chance it's ivory. But I mean, it looks looks like ivory to me. It's got that grain to it. I don't know how well that shows up in the. Uh, camera but looks like I read to me um, that was uh, $15 got a dish I thought this was a good piece I paid a dollar for this um, it's a uh, great expectations seen from great expectations uh, 
quality porcelain company made in uh, England and get it home and it's got a chip in it so value is pretty much almost worthless but uh, would have been nice to uh, have a good piece you got to be careful with uh, when buying porcelain and glass uh, any little chip uh, really hurts it Neat little uh, Civil War Confederate soldier here, uh, Britain. Um, collectible little guy. Paid two dollars for it. Uh, a little bit different than uh, the run-of-the-mill uh, soldiers because uh, he's got the flag. Not worth a ton of money. Maybe get ten bucks out of him. This was neat. It's not old, and it's not worth a whole lot, but it's a doorstop, and I just thought it'd be really neat to have this uh, sitting down and uh, having this little mouse you know, holding up against the door. It's uh, got a little weight to it, but uh, like I said, not old, not worth a ton of money. I paid uh, $3 for this. Uh, this is a piece of uh, <coughs> Royal Copley. And uh, most of this isn't worth a ton of money. This is in really good shape. Um, some of this is going to be worth as little as $10. Other pieces can be worth. I sold a, a piece years ago for $125. Uh, I haven't looked this one up. I guess it's not worth a lot, but I paid $3. So some money to be made there. Little uh, dragonware, I think they call this uh, Satsuma. Uh, paid two dollars for that cup and saucer, and it's in uh, it's in really good shape. No cracks or chips. Once again, not worth a whole lot of money, but uh, should make a little profit on that. I really like this old lamp. This thing has been around. It's definitely got that. Art Deco look to it uh, from like the 1920s. It's got the old style cord. It's got the uh, fabric around the uh, cords. And uh, wish the red wasn't coming off of it. But Reminds me, uh, years ago I bought a red glass bowl and I took it home to uh, clean it up and I sprayed it down with uh, Windex with ammonia and uh, the red just ran right off of it. So, learned a lesson that day. Uh, bought a, a nice little watercolor here marked C. Manning. Um, it's, uh, I'm guessing it's Notre Dame back, back, back there. Hey, buddy. Come over here. Let me see how you doing. Come here. No. It's not being too friendly today. Uh, so I have to look up the painting. I paid, uh, ten for it. Uh, not bad. Uh, couple old magazines I've uh, been getting into old magazine covers lately for some reason uh, my tastes uh, switch around all the time nice little uh, nice World War II um, cover here dated March 7th 42 um, search light searching for bombers this is a nice one here ladies home journal Really nice artwork. Not sure on the uh, signature, uh, but be easy to uh, probably just do a Google search for that uh, date and the uh, magazine, and it'd probably uh, come right up. But uh, that's worth framing right there. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Got a uh, old lamp. Um, 
Got it for uh, $15. It's got a little age on it. I like the uh, draping going around there. And the reason I got it for 15 is the bottom is broke. But what I think I might do is uh, I think I might take this in and see about having a uh, stained glass bottom made for this. And with the wires coming out, I could probably rig up a uh, socket to go inside there to have the bottom light up with the uh, with the tops. So something to look into. I gotta see if the uh, if my wife really likes it. If she doesn't like it, it isn't much uh, uh, not much use of uh, getting it done, but. If she does like it, I'll take it in and see how much it will cost to get that uh, fixed up. Got a uh, World War II. You can see it's dated. Ames, U.S. Ames, 1944. Nice uh, World War II shovel uh, entrenching tool called a uh, E tool. <laughs> Uh, paid eight dollars for it. Not worth, uh, not worth a whole lot. Probably worth about twenty-five bucks. But uh, I just love finding World War II stuff because it, it's hard to come across anymore. Uh, got a pair of uh, pliers in the box, and Crescent Tool Company. And you can see they call it the CT Company, and. If it was just a plain old pair of pliers, I wouldn't have, uh, you know, not much value there. But uh, having a nice old box, paid uh, two dollars for this. Um, neat little piece, definitely old. Who knows? Maybe from the 30s, 40s. Not sure. And last of all, got a uh, nice little. Uh, sheath knife here uh, called uh, Olsen OK. I've had these uh, before and eh, probably worth about $30, $40. I have to check to make sure. But uh, So there you go. Not a whole lot of stuff. Uh, keep waiting for the weather to break. Uh, we're in April now so things ought to uh, start rolling along pretty, uh, pretty good now. But uh, We'll see what next week brings.